If you want cells to release, drink water, and it gives them something to flush fat cells into. They can release all the toxin into the water. The water will pass it out. Fruit. Speeds up the metabolism. And it's like candy. Is this... Is it bad that I'm doing this on a video and then considering putting it, putting it online? Like, to eat in front of people? I do it. Other people do it, and I don't mind if someone's eating. If I'm hungry, I eat. I feel like food's kind of free-flowing, but it's an assumption of mine, and I take this stuff and I eat normally. Someone said some stuff. I was eating one time on a video, and some people were talking about it. Like, Dude, you're eating. And they're, they're hungry or something. They didn't have access to food, maybe. Well, okay. I want to show you this thing. I will drink water. Alright, give me a moment. Hang on, close your eyes if you must. This thing, okay, I'm set the laptop down, and then I'm going to set the microphone down. This camera I'm going to set, so, put over here. Thanks for bearing with me. It's quite a change of scenery. And I don't, I'm not just moving the laptop, which would be nice. If the laptop had a really good camera, I could, uh, just use that one, but the laptop camera is not that good. This is the neural network. It's expansive. I'm going to put it all over the board. I believe that we exist in this neural network, kind of much like the internet. The internet is a physical representation of it. And we are... The space in between the lines is what I believe we are. These... Is this, I'm going to zoom in. thing is a zoom, that's kind of handy. Alright. Maybe it will help more if I draw it all over the board. I believe that we are the space here, which is why I'm not drawing on it, because it's space. It's a, a burst, a, a puff of idea. It's a thought bubble. And these lines represent the paths we take and the actions and the choices and the, 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 harden, the hardenizations of the thought bubble. And it takes us to a new thought bubble. Sometimes it comes in crazy and wacky, as represented by some of my drawings. <laughs> And I heard it. What inspired me to draw this today was that I heard it as I was pulling in 
I was getting out of the car and the birds were speaking. And there would be a few birds over here and a few birds over here. And, and then I, I was listening to them. And it was there and there and there. And then I felt them sending it. They were speaking to each other. They were, they were vibrating the thought bubble at a higher frequency, so it became audible. They were doing it and, the, and, and sending it, and the others were receiving it and sending it. But I noticed they were appearing in different places. And then it, the one said it, and I heard another one way in the distance that heard it, said it. And they were silent, the ones around me, they were, because the energy had been passed far. And then I heard in the distance another bird so far. And the energy had been sent so far, and they were silent, the ones around me. And it traveled. And then one of them around me chirped, made some noise, sent out a small ripple. But the, the large energy... There's a large energy cloud that travels around the neural network. At any given point, it's a very large, maybe the largest energy cloud. It's there. It's, it's moving any direction. And it's constantly moving around. If it were a magnet, that's the most effective way. And I drew on this. Well, it's the, this moves around it. And then there's little ones that represent interactivity. This is the mass consciousness. The, of course, within any system, at any moment, this exists. The mass consciousness of the moment. With the birds, if it's me and 15 birds, the, the mass consciousness was with the birds. It was being manifested through the birds. Nature. Wherever you are, if it's a group, a large group of people, this will be there moving. I believe there's a master-sized one of these within the fabric of reality that we are tuned into. The collective consciousness. God, people have called it. It's moving. It goes with people. It exists. It draws focus to a specific thing. And it's traveling. And the zeitgeist, the time ghost, the essence... And it's moving. And we are these points here. We are vibrating this thing, this web. We're, we're pulling it and tensing it. And if you tense it, it'll move. And if you, if you what, tense it again, and then if you, if you tense it too much, it, it gets stagnant. And if you loosen and move it, and move with it, and let other people tense it, which is thought affecting reality. You can affect the mass consciousness. You speak to, uh, the word God even, I believe it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cloud of frequency. It's a culmination of, it's what frequency is before it's frequency. And it's moving. 